They called it the Flameless Fire, a ghost of heat born out of desperation, engineered not to be seen. In the chaos of World War II, when a single spark could betray your position or doom an entire crew adrift at sea, scientists quietly built something extraordinary. A stove that could burn hot enough to cook, warm enough to save lives, yet invisible to the naked eye. It didn't flicker, it didn't glow, and it didn't give away your location. It was one of the war's most ingenious survival tools, and almost no one today remembers it. Welcome back to Legacy of Survival, where forgotten innovations and real wartime ingenuity come roaring back to life. Today we are lighting up a secret that never burned bright, but saved countless lives, the invisible stove of World War II. World War II wasn't just fought with guns, bombs and tanks, it was fought against the elements. Out there, in the icy waters of the Atlantic, survival was a cruel gamble. When ships were torpedoed, sailors were left drifting in lifeboats for days, sometimes weeks. The enemy wasn't just the Germans, it was the cold, the hunger, the darkness. Conventional stoves were useless. Fire meant death. A visible flame was a beacon to patrolling aircraft and U-boats. Even a thin wisp of smoke could expose a lifeboat hiding among the waves. Yet without heat, the men froze. Without a way to melt snow or warm soup, their bodies weakened, their will fading by the hour. That's when British scientists, working quietly under the Ministry of Supply, came up with something that defied logic. A stove that burned without a flame. The device was officially called the lifeboat stove, though its true nature made it sound more like a piece of alchemy than engineering. It wasn't powered by oil, gas or coal. Instead, it relied on a mysterious chemical compound that reacted when mixed with water, generating heat without a spark. The secret ingredient was calcium oxide, better known as quicklime. When this mineral mixed with water, it produced an intense exothermic reaction, essentially releasing a wave of heat. Scientists harnessed that power in a compact metal container designed to fit neatly into lifeboat rations. Add water, and the reaction began instantly. No smoke, no visible flame, and no smell just pure, radiant heat. It was silent, it was invisible, and for the stranded, it was salvation. The brilliance of the lifeboat stove wasn't just in how it worked, but how it didn't work like any normal fire. Traditional stoves required oxygen, which in a small wind-battered raft could be dangerous. Flames also consumed fuel too quickly. The lifeboat stove used the slow, controlled reaction of chemicals, which released steady heat for up to 30 minutes, enough to heat water or a meal for several men. The stove came sealed, waterproof and foolproof. It could be activated by anyone, even freezing, shaking sailors in the middle of a storm. It didn't require dry matches or skill. The device made survival simpler, faster, and safer. In a war where every ounce of energy counted, the British had created a small, quiet miracle of science. Naval tests during World War II proved that this silent stove worked even in freezing winds and rough seas. It could boil a pint of water in minutes, allowing sailors to prepare the concentrated rations they carried. Thick soups, tea or survival biscuits turned edible again. 
Some survivors later recalled how this strange little metal canister became their only source of comfort in the endless cold. It wasn't just heat, it was hope. Something about the ritual of warming food, even without fire, gave them a sense of control amid chaos. And make no mistake, this was a war of attrition. The Battle of the Atlantic saw tens of thousands lost at sea. Lifeboats were often scattered and alone, sometimes surviving weeks before rescue. The flameless stove, small as it was, became the difference between life and death for many. When the war ended, the secret stove quietly vanished into obscurity. The technology never became commercial. It was too tied to the desperate, dangerous conditions of wartime survival. But its chemistry lived on. That same principle, generating heat through controlled chemical reactions, later inspired portable ration heaters used by modern militaries like the meal, ready-to-eat, flameless heaters. The soldiers of today are still using an evolved form of the very same idea that once saved sailors adrift in the Atlantic. In other words, what started as a secret weapon of survival in World War II became a foundation for modern military logistics. There's something poetic about it, isn't there? A flame that doesn't burn, a light that doesn't shine, but still saves lives. It's a reminder that survival isn't always about brute strength or visible power. Sometimes it's about quiet innovation, about the minds that worked in the shadows while others fought in the light. The lifeboat. Stove teaches us more than chemistry. It teaches us mindset, preparation, ingenuity, and, well, the power of small solutions in impossible situations. The men who survived those freezing nights did so not because of luck, but because someone somewhere thought ahead. That's the legacy of survival, to remember the small miracles that shaped human endurance. Fast forward to today, and the world's militaries still rely on heat without fire systems. Flameless ration heaters now use magnesium and iron-based compounds, producing heat when water triggers a similar reaction. Soldiers can eat hot meals in the field without revealing their location, just like those sailors 80 years ago. And in the world of prepping and survival, the principle remains timeless. Modern emergency kits often include self-heating food packs, chemical warmers, or exothermic heat packs, all descendants of that humble World War II stove. So, next time you see a soldier warming a meal in a plastic pouch or use a hand warmer on a winter day, remember you're holding a piece of forgotten wartime genius. Not every hero in World War II carried a rifle. Some carried equations, blueprints and ideas that, well, changed how humans survive the impossible. The invisible stove didn't win battles, but it saved lives quietly, one cup of hot tea at a time. It's the kind of innovation that really deserves its place in history, not as a weapon, but as a symbol of resilience. The kind of story that reminds us that survival isn't just about strength, but about the will to adapt, invent, and endure. That's the true heart of Legacy of Survival. Uncovering the overlooked brilliance that, you know, kept humanity alive in its darkest hour.
If you've enjoyed uncovering this lost wartime secret, the flameless fire that burned hope into the cold Atlantic, don't forget to subscribe to Legacy of Survival for more forgotten innovations, battlefield ingenuity, and real stories of endurance from World War II and beyond. Share this story with someone who loves history, or someone who thinks survival is all about brute force. Because sometimes the greatest fire is the one you never see.